Hi, I'm Ingrid. Hi, I'm Kristen. We work at Carver County Libraries. I'm mostly at Chanhassen. And I'm mostly at Victoria. And we are here today to talk to you about some new books. Yes, this is what we do. <laughs> this is what we do sometimes. We read books, we you know, talk about books. Mm -hmm. Our lives revolve around books. They do, they, they do. do. All right, so Kristen's going to be talking about some nonfiction books, yes. and I'll be talking about some fiction picture books. Yep. All right, um, do you want to start? Do you want me to start? Sure. Okay. Creature of Habit, I will start. All right. So before I totally get going here, I just wanted to let everybody know that the four books that I am featuring today were all purchased with um, grant money, the Charles J. Dalkey grant. These were um, a STEM grant that was done by Miss Heather that's here at Chanhassen. So if you see the little label in here, that's why I'm kind of showing it, that you know that those were bought with that grant money. So we have a ton of these, which is awesome. So, and then it just helps with my book talk. There you go. <laughs> All right. So this is part of a series. This is um, Read for a Better World series, and this is Earth, A First Look, as you can see with the beautiful cover big, big blue planet yes and then so it's curious kids will enjoy this first look into space the solar system and space ex exploration information is very engaging because of the diagrams illustrations and text and this series also has a social emotional learning element to it which is a nice touch and so they've got a bunch of different ones in this series there's sun stars moon mars and then astronauts and then i'm just going to show real quick so this is one of the, well, stunning pictures, photographs. I'm always a beach person, so I always think this is kind of cool. But I wanted to give an example of the social emotional learning here. So it has a little bubble right here that says, how do light and heat help us? So you see some of that throughout the book for different questions that kind of engage you. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah. So that is Earth, A First Look by Percy Lead. All right, well, and I am going to be talking about this book. It's called We All Play by Julie Flett. And We All Play, it also has some words in Cree. Kime Tawana is play, I think. Hmm. Um, and this one is a really fun, simple text. It's, um, and it's got some really nice illustrations. So it kind of starts out, you know, animals hide and hop and sniff and sneak and peek and peep and we play too Kime Tawana Mina um, and it's just a really fun simple story with some you know animals from all over and um, and the illustrations I really like and then in the back it has a list of all the animals in the book and their Cree names um, so it is a fun, sweet book. Pronunciation and, guide too, right? Yes, in pronunciation guide as yes. well. So, um, and oh, it was one of the best books of the year, New, New, York, New York Times and Washington Post. Cool. So, but this is a really fun read aloud book. Nice. Good pick. All right, more STEM books. Learn about, this is the Learn About series, the water cycle. So there's other ones in this series called How You Can Save Water, protecting earth's waters and then what is water it's all about water it's all about water which is good it's important mm -hmm. and it's by sonia w black so this is the water cycle a great way to teach kids about the importance of water because it is very important and did you know that dinosaurs could have been splashing around in the water that you drank today i thought that was cool yeah that's a good visual i think that's because all the water on the earth has been here forever it's and just... it is always on the move just evaporate some rains and i know huh. i thought that was kind of cool because i always have to do something with dinosaurs yes of course so so Boy, water Mom. cycle i know <laughs> i know all right my next book is called together we ride and um we haven't gotten it in yet but this year they just came out with another one called together we swim but this one is by valerie bowling and it's a really sweet again simple book um, about a little girl learning to ride a bike. And so this one shows her and her dad in the garage. And it says, inside, outside, slow guide, 
quick stride. So it shows them, you know, riding and uh oh, she falls down, um, but gets back up again and goes really fast. And then it's fun. At the end, the whole family is together riding. Looks like San Francisco by the water, cool. big bridge. Um, but just, you know, falling down, getting up, and learning how to ride together. Cute. Um, so really sweet, fun book. Together we ride Valerie Bowling. Fun. All right. This is Forest Biomes, and this is in the Explore Biome series. And this is... Who is it by? It doesn't say on the cover. Leela. Leela Nargi. I probably said that wrong, but you get the idea. So, forest biomes. Early readers will learn about forest biomes and the important role they play on Earth. Bright, full color photos and easy to read text will engage young readers. So, I'll just show that real quick so you get an example since I forgot to do that with the last book I just noticed, but that's okay. That's We're going to move on. All right. So, this is. Let's see, what are the three parts of a forest? Take a look, and I'm always like interested in the visual. So the canopy, the understory, and then the forest floor. So I just thought that was kind of cool, like, cool visual. There's other cool photos in here too, but that That's was the one fun. I chose. Yeah. Well, and a great segue to the understory. My next book <laughs> is called Beneath, <laughs> and it takes place in a forest. Mm -hmm. This is written by Corey Dorfeld, who is a Minnesotan author, um, and this is a really sweet book. It's about a little kid named Finn who's in a horrible mood and hides under his blanket, and his grandpa tries to talk to him about it, and Finn says, you won't understand, and grandpa says, let's go for a walk. <laughs> and, you know, fresh air can solve a lot of problems. And so they go out, a little boy still under his blanket, but they go exploring through the woods and they look at the water and they see other people. And, um, you know, the illustrations are really, really nice. I like yeah. these a lot. Um, and then, you know, finally he takes off the blanket. Grandpa's got the blanket on the shoulders. Mm. And, you know, instead of looking at everything underneath, they say, just look up but always remember what's beneath the surface. So it's about feelings and just, you know, going outside and exploring nature. And um, yeah, this is a really nice book. I love these illustrations mm -hmm. and the, the text is really nice. So Beneath by Corey Dorfeld. Nice. Minnesotan author. It's always nice to feature some of our creative people that are in our state, because we have a lot of them. We do. All right, my last one is part of the How It Works series. This is called airplanes. So there's airplanes, cars, cell phones, computers, rockets, and then submarines are part of the series. I'm just featuring this one because I want to do airplanes. All right, so airplanes help people get places faster. Leveled text and excellent photos explore what these machines do, how they work, and what they might look like in the future. So I will just show you. So this is parts of an airplane. Alright. The wing, the tail, the engines, the nose. I tried to look up what that said. Fuselage. See, there I thought it'd make you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I got in trouble the other day for saying Mackinac wrong, so I wanted okay. to make sure that I <laughs> oh, can't yeah. help it. So, good. Ingrid said it correctly. So, the different parts of an airplane. Alright. Well, one of those parts was the nose. <laughs> Segway to my next book, which is about a skunk. <laughs> That's perfect. I know. That was unintentional, but it worked really well. So this is a story about a couple of kids who are out exploring. And uh-oh, they see a skunk sleeping, so they want to sneak by because they're very nervous about what's going to happen. And they got away from the skunk and they were like, whew. But <laughs> after doing many adventures and running away, and there is the skunk walking away with his tail up high. Well, what I learned from this book is that skunks can be empty. Oh, really? Yes. Um, and 
like this one, it says his stink ran out two days ago. Oh. They have to recharge. But you can't tell. Like a tell. cell phone. <laughs> like a cell phone, yeah. But you can't tell by looking at them. No, I would always think so, they're full. So he can pretend he's going to, like, spray you. Sure. But no. And then it tells you, there's all kinds of skunk facts back here hmm. um, that tells you, you know, that that was a thing. And I didn't know. I just thought they were always ready to, you know. I thought so, too. Spray. Well, you but, don't want to test the theory, okay? No, because <laughs> there's no way of knowing whether it's full or empty. Yeah. And unlike an airplane nose, your nose will be affected. <laughs> is, it, is it tomato juice that you use or tomato? Yes, that, tomato juice. Yeah. Oh, well, so this book is called If You Wake a Skunk, and it's by Carol Duringer. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's a fun, you know, simple text, but with stories and the illustrations, again, are just really nice and bold and, yeah. Um, and then there are all kinds of fun skunk facts at the back. That Miss Ingrid learned something as well. I which did. is always fun when I you know. learn something. I know. You can learn things all the time. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, again, thanks for joining us. Yes. When is this going to be up? End of August? No. I think summer reading program will still be going on. Okay. I might have gotten that wrong. That's all right. All right. So... We will see you later. Um, if you think about it, come out to the Carver County Fair. Yes. Um, that will be fun. Mm -hmm. um, there will be some story times going on by some of the children's librarians yes, various times. by Tippy the Cow. Yes. And then um, we're taking a little story time break, and we'll be back in September. Right. And, but the library is always open. That's true. Except on Labor Day. Yes. And except after 8 o'clock. Yes. And we're the old, yeah. Anyway, all right, time for us to go. All right, all right, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with us this long. And um, have some fun with all of these great books. Yes. Thanks, right. everybody. Bye.